Next term is the molarity. It is represented by capital M. And molarity is the number of moles of solute in 1 liter of solution. How much moles of solute present in 1 liter of solution? That is called what? Yes, molarity. And here molarity is represented by capital M. M is equal to number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter. Suppose A be the uh, what the solvent molecule and B be the solute particles. Okay. And we can rewrite molarity as number of moles of solute. We can represent as number of moles of solute. NB divided by volume of solution in liter we can represent as V and how can we find number of moles number of moles equal to yes weight by molecular mass weight by molecular here in the case of solute we can write as WB by MB WB what is WB weight or the given mass and MB means what Molecular weight. Okay. So, NB equal to WB by MB. So, we can write like this. WB by MB into. And here V in liter. Suppose in our question it is in milliliter. Then how can we convert VML? It is divided by 1000. So, we multiply it with 1000. Okay. That is molarity. Molarity is equal to WB into 1000 divided by MB into VML. If it is given in milliliter, then multiply it with what? 1000. If it is given in liter, we didn't do that multiplication. Okay. Then once more, molarity is represented by capital M. It is a number of moles of solute in 1 liter of solution. And if we take the number of moles of solute as NB, we can write like this. M is equal to NB divided by V. Number of moles equal to weight by molecular mass. So, M molarity is equal to WB into 1000 divided by MB into VML. And here, all M in milliliter. So, we multiplied or, uh, with what? 1000. Next is the molality. Okay. It is represented by small m. And molarity means the number of moles of solute present per liter of solution. Here, molality is defined as the number of moles of solute present per kilogram of solvent. Okay. M is equal to small m is equal to number of moles of solute divided by mass of solvent in kilogram. Okay. Suppose Wa be the weight of the solvent. And MA be the molecular mass of the solvent. Like that WB is the weight of the solute. And MB be the weight of the solvent. Okay. Then molarity is equal to number of moles of solute. So NB divided by mass of solvent in kilogram. Okay. Suppose it is given in gram. We must divide it by what? Thousand. So here mass of solvent. What is mass of solvent? Yes. Wa by 1000. By 1000 means if it is in gram, we can convert into kilogram by dividing 1000. So by 1000 goes up and become what? 1000. And what is NB? Yes. Again NB is equal to Wb by MB. Wb by MB. So we can write like this M is equal to WB into 1000 divided by MB into WA. Okay. WB into 1000 divided by MB into WA. That is called what? Molality. Okay. Molality means the number of moles of solute present per kilogram of solvent. Once more, molality means the number of moles of solute present per kilogram of solvent. And what is molarity? Yes, number of moles of solute present per, kil per liter. Not kilogram, per liter of the solution. Then mole fraction. Number of moles of particular component to the total number of moles. Then mass person. What is mass person? Yes, mass of the solute to the total mass of solution into 100. Let's do some problems from this chapter. First question. How many moles of methane required to produce 
22 gram carbon dioxide after combustion. It's a problem related to the stoichiometry calculation. So first of all, we want to write the balanced chemical equation. So how many moles of methane? Methane CH4 required to produce 22 gram carbon dioxide after combustion. Combustion means what? Yes, reaction with oxygen. So methane plus oxygen, we get what? Carbon dioxide. The equation is not balanced and here during combustion water is also produced H2O. So here CH4 plus O2 gives CO2 plus H2O. That's the equation according to the question. But the equation is not balanced. Here four hydrogen atoms. Here only two hydrogen atoms are there. So put two here. So carbon, one carbon, one carbon. Left and right side. And here two oxygen atoms. Here how many oxygen atoms? Yes, four oxygen atoms. So put two here. Here, one mole produce how much carbon dioxide? Yes, one mole carbon dioxide. One mole methane produce one mole carbon dioxide. And we ignore oxygen and water because our question is to find what? The methane, the moles of methane required to produce carbon dioxide. And one mole of methane means how much gram? Yes, one mole means it's gram molecular mass. So, one mole of methane means what? 16 gram. And one mole of carbon dioxide means? Yes, 44 gram. 44 gram. Here, 16 gram produce 44 gram. That means one mole of methane produce 44 gram. We want to find the amount or the number of moles of methane required to produce 22 gram. How can we find? Yes, for 22 gram carbon dioxide, we take 0.5 mole. Yes, 0.5 mole methane. This half of methane is needed in order to produce what? Yes, half of carbon dioxide. Clear? Or in terms of gram, we can say it is 8 gram. 8 gram means what? 8 gram means 16 means 1 mole. So, 8 gram means half mole. Is it clear? This is the question. Next question. A solution is prepared by adding 2 gram of a substance A to 18 gram of water. Calculate mass percent of solution. How can we find mass percent? Yes, mass percent is equal to mass of solute. Mass of solute divided by mass of solution. Mass of solution into 100. That's the equation. And here mass of solute. What is the mass of solute? Here 2 gram divided by mass of solution. What is the mass of water here? 18 gram. That is the solvent. The solution means 18 plus solvent. That is 20. Not 18. Here 20 gram. Is it clear? Here mass of solution not solvent. Mass of solvent is 18. Solute is 2. So, solution means total mass of solvent and solute. So, we take 20 into 100. So, what is the answer? 0, 0, 2, 2. Answer is what? 10 percentage. That means in that solution, 10 percentage contain what? Yes, solute. Or if it is 100 liter, 10 liter what? Solute is there. Or if that solution is 100 gram, 10 gram of solute is present in that. Is it clear? That is the answer. We want to study the equation of mass percent. Mass percent is equal to what? Mass of solute divided by mass of solution into 100. Next question. Calculate the molarity of NaOH in the solution prepared by dissolving its 4 gram in enough water to form 250 ml of solution. We want to find what? Molarity. And here 4 gram weight is there. And solution, the dictator is there. Okay. So, first of all, we want to know the equation in order to find molarity. What is it? Yes, molarity is equal to the number of moles of solute divided by oleum of solution in liter. And here, it is given in milliliter. So, you want to convert it into liter. So, what we do? Yes, divided by 1000. So, that divided by 1000 multiplied here. In that equation, I did not write this. So, 250 ml means 250 divided by 1000 liter. Okay. And here, number of moles of solute. Number of moles of NaOH. How can we find number of moles of NaOH? 
yes mass by molecular mass here weight by molecular mass what is the weight yes 4 gram divided by molecular mass of NaOH is 40 40 gram so WB by MB means 4 by 40 and all I mean liter all I mean liter means here never question it is given in milliliter so we divide by 1000 and we get 0 0.250 liter by doing this we get 0.4 mole per liter or we can write as 0.4 capital M capital M represent what molarity this is the way in order to find molarity the only thing we want to know is the equation molarity is equal to number of moles of solute divided by volume of solution in liter next question calculate the weight of calcium oxide obtained by heating 200 kg of 95 percentage pure calcium carbonate calcium carbonate is limestone we want to find the weight of lime that is calcium oxide obtained by heating 200 kg of 95 percentage pure calcium carbonate out of 100 95 percentage pure carbonate means if we take 100 kilogram of sample 95 kilogram of calcium carbonate is present that is 95 gram okay or 95 percentage and 5 kilogram impurity okay once more 95 percentage pure calcium carbonate means out of 100 kilogram 95 kilogram is pure calcium carbonate and 5 kilogram is impurity so we can write like this 100 kilogram impure sample is equal to 95 percentage pure calcium carbonate or it is equal to 95 kilogram of pure calcium carbonate okay so 200 kilogram contain yes 95 divided by 100 into 200 190 kilogram is it clear 190 kilogram 200 kilogram of 95 percentage pure calcium carbonate means 10 kilogram is missing from 200 because for every 100 kilogram 5 kilogram is impurity because it is 95 percentage pure calcium carbonate so we can say 200 kilogram impure sample contain how much calcium carbonate yes 190 kilogram and not 200 so we want to find what's the amount of calcium oxide obtained from this 190 kilogram calcium carbonate and not from this 200 kilogram is it clear first of all we want to find what's the amount of pure calcium carbonate present in present in 200 kilogram of impure sample so as per it's a 95 percentage pure calcium carbonate means out of 100 kilogram, 5 kilogram is impurity, only 95 kilogram is pure calcium carbonate. If in the case of 200, how much impurity is there? 10 kilogram impurity is there and only 190 kilogram is there. 190 kilogram what? Calcium carbonate is there. Then write the equation. Calcium carbonate on heating we get what? Lime, calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. And here calcium carbonate, the molecular formula of calcium carbonate CaCO3 and molecular mass calcium is 40, then carbon 12, 3 oxygen molecules 16 into 3, 48, so total 100. So as per the stoichiometric coefficient, 100 kilogram calcium carbonate gives 56 kilogram of what? Calcium oxide. So we want to find what is the amount of calcium oxide obtained by 190 kilogram of calcium carbonate cross multiplication x is equal to 56 into 9 190 divided by 100 we get answer 10.4 kilogram is it clear this way we can find what the amount of calcium oxide obtained by heating 200 kilogram of 95 percentage pure calcium carbonate next question find the number of moles of the following the first question 7.85 gram iron how can we find number of moles yes number of moles equal to mass or oh, that's a given mass whatever be the given mass divided by atomic mass or molecular mass whatever it is and here 7.85 that's a given mass so n is equal to number of moles equal to 7.85 given mass divided by atomic mass 
atomic mass of iron 56. So, 7.85 divided by 56 answer is 0.14 moles. And next question. 7.9 milligram of calcium. Mg is not magnesium, it is milligram. So, milligram of calcium. How can we convert milligram into gram? Yes, multiplied with 1000 of course. And here, 40 gram of calcium is equal to, if it is converted into milligram, we can write like this, 40 into 1000 milligram. So, we can rewrite as 40 gram of calcium is equal to 4 into 10 raised to 4. Okay. And here, 7.9 gram, milligram of calcium is equal to given mass, 7.9 divided by the atomic mass. What is it? 4 into 10 raised to 4 and we get the answer, 1.97 into 10 raised to minus 4 moles. 4 liter of water is added to 2 liter of 6 molar HCl solution. What is the molarity of the resulting solution? That is... Suppose our initial oleum is 2 liter. Okay. And 2 liter 6 molar HCl is there. So initial molarity is there. We take as M1 6 molar. And initial oleum is there. We take as 2 liter. And to that 2 liter 4 liter of water is added. So what is V2? V2 means the final oleum. Yes 4 plus 2. Final oleum is 6. We want to find the molarity of the resulting solution. And there is an equation M1V1 is equal to M2V2. M1V1 equal to M2V2. And M1 is the molarity of the first solution. V1 oleum of first solution is equal to M2 molarity of second solution into oleum of second solution. So M1V1 equal to M2V2. So that uh, result in the equation M16 into 2 liter V1 equal to M2 we want to find into 6 liter. So M2 is equal to 6 M into 2 liter divided by 6 liter and we get 2 molar as the answer. Okay, this is the molarity of the resulting solution adding 4 liter of uh, water to 2 liter of the existing 6 molar HCl. Next question. Calculate the molality of 2.5 gram ethanoic acid in 75 gram benzene. And ethanoic acid is CH3COOH. There is acetic acid. There is ethanoic acid. We want to find the molality of 2.5 gram ethanoic acid in 75 gram of benzene. Benzene you know C6H6. There is benzene. First of all, the molecular mass of acetic acid, CH3COOH, that is 2 carbon atoms are there, so 24, plus 2 oxygen atom, 32, then 4 hydrogen atoms are there, and we get the answer, 60. That's the molecular mass of what? Ethanoic acid or acetic acid. And next one, number of moles. How can you find the number of moles? Yes, we know number of moles equal to weight by molecular mass. And here what is the weight of acetic acid? 2.5. So 2.5 divided by 60. And we get 0 0.0417 mole. Next one. Mass of benzene in kilogram. And mass of benzene C6H6. So 12 into 6 plus 6. The answer is what? 75. We get the answer 75. That's the benzene. And here... Uh, in kilogram, so we divided by 1000, we get the answer 75 into 10 raised to minus 3. Then how can we find molality? Yes, molality is equal to uh, WB into 1000 divided by MB into WA. Or we can say number of moles of solute. Number of moles of solute present per kilogram of solvent. And here, number of moles of solute. What is number of moles of solute? 0 0.0417 divided by what? Mass of the solvent in kilogram. 75 by 1000. We get 75 into 10 raised to minus 3. By dividing 0 0.0417 to 75 into 10 raised to minus 3. We get the answer 0 0.556 mole per kilogram. Next question. 7.45 gram of potassium chloride was dissolved in 100 gram of water. Calculate 
the molarity okay and here the mass of the solute is given 7.45 kilogram and here the weight of the solvent is given in gram 100 so we want to convert it into kilogram in order to find the molality first of all we want to know the equation for the molality what's the equation yes molality is equal to number of moles of solute by ma mass of solvent in kilogram and how can you find number of moles yes number of moles equal to weight by molecular mass and here the weight 7.45 then what's the molecular mass of kcl potassium is 39 chlorine 35.5 so 74.5 and number of moles equal to given mass it is 7.45 divided by molecular mass 74.5 we get 0.1 and molarity, how can we find molality? Not molarity, molality. How can we find? Yes, molality, molarity is equal to number of moles of solute. What is it? Yes, 0 0.1. 0 0.1 divided by weight of the solvent in kilogram. Here 100, 100 gram is how much kilogram? 100 by 1000. We get 0 0.1. So, 0 0.1 by 0 0.1 answer is what? 1 mole per kilogram. That's the molarity of the given solution.